Hi, it's Mark from Embedded Pro, and I'm back with a new video series. In this short series, I'm going to be introducing the NXP LPC 55 S16 Evaluation Kit. My friends at NXP have shipped me this evaluation kit, and let me dig into it and find out what we get. Recently, NXP have been shipping their LPC Evaluation Kits in these white, glossy boxes. Let's open it up and see what's inside. The first thing is a quick start guide for the LPC Expresso 55S16. This contains a guide to getting started and explains what the out of the box demo is all about. And I'll take a look at that later in this video. Next comes a packing list. And in this evaluation kit, the only components are the evaluation board and the quick start guide. There's no USB cable shipping with this kit. And that's fine because I have a micro USB cable already. Here comes the ASMR part of the video. And we'll get the rustle as we open the pink conductive bubble wrap and then the anti-static bag beneath that. And here is the evaluation kit. As is common on these evaluation kits, all the components are on one side and the reverse side of the board has no components on at all. So now let's take a tour of the board and here we can see the LPC 55 S16 microcontroller, the built-in Link 2 debug probe and the USB connector for the probe. If you have your own external probe, there's an external debug connector. There are four USB connectors labeled debug probe power only, full speed, and high speed. There's a D-sub connector, audio in and audio out, and a Cirrus Logic codec. The board is very well equipped with headers and jumpers, and you can refer to the quick start guide in the box for the default jumper locations. The board has many opportunities for expansion. So we have the Arduino mechanically compatible connectors, micro click connectors, and the PMOD expansion connector. And lastly, four user switches labeled wake, user, reset, and ISP boot, and a user three color RGB LED. In just a moment, I'm gonna power the board through the debug probe USB connector. But first, let's compare the LPC 55 S16 EVK shown here on the left with the earlier LPC 55 S69 EVK. The boards are photographed to the same scale and you can see that the 55 S16 EVK is somewhat larger than the earlier board. The USB connectors have been moved to the left side and the main thing we observe is the D-sub connector which has taken the place of the SD card socket. There's also a noticeable increase in the number of jumpers and this makes the board much more versatile in use. So let's run the demo application. I power the board through the debug link to connector and the green LED is blinking every second. When I push the various buttons on the board, the color of the LED is changing. So for example, when I press and hold the ISP button, the LED changes to blue. When I release the button, the LED green LED starts flashing again. So let's unpower and that completes the demo. I hope that you enjoy these videos. Please share and like the videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be back next time with a deeper investigation into this EVK. Goodbye for now.